Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Dover for the second race of round two. Getting ready to do the heats. We have two 20-lap heats on tap for today. As they'll get ready for the main later today. On the front row for heat number one, we have Michael Rogers and Karen Vieira. Row two, we have Nicholas Samudio and Tony Green. Row three, Ryan Shea, Kevin Peeler. Row 4, Carol Morton, Nathan Rogers. And row 5, we have Logan York and Alan Cavanero. So Logan York is the ninth place car. Drivers on the inside line have a bit of an advantage here maybe. So these those other inside line drivers are Andrew Rich, Chris Carando, Sean Harple, and May Ryder. Michael Rogers is going to be racing in the trucks next season. So he will not cease racing. Again, he will go to the truck series and do some truck truck racing action. Right now, my sweatpants are drenched because the option was, one, walk the dogs in the pouring rain. Don't get yelled at. Option two, don't take the dogs for a walk in the rain. Get yelled at for not taking them earlier. So I walked them in the pouring rain. Which sucked. Also, a reminder, cautions. Remember, cautions are off in the heat races. Michael Rogers will lead him lap one. Whoa, Alan Cavanero's in the wall back there. Alan Cavanero getting in the wall. We see positions are changing. You see Kevin Peeler was up to ninth that last lap. But now he's falling. Andrew Rich moving his, making his way through the field as Michael Rogers leads. Samudio in the wall. John Linares in the wall. Logan York had to hit the brakes for some reason entering the turn. Top four are single file. Make that top seven. We did have a wreck here in last season's part-timers race. And Alan Cavanero is around. Alan Cavanero and Colby Alves get together. Michael Cavanero, Phil Tringali, John Linares have to slow down to avoid that one. See Karen Vieira trying to fight for a spot there. Carando to the inside. Tenth place right now. Andrew Rich just outside. Tony Green holding ninth place. Karen Vieira up the third. Ryan Shea actually won that part-timers race, if memory serves me correct. Could we see somebody else do what happened to the 18 and the 88? Samudio to the inside of Carol Morton looking for fourth. Nathan Rogers, Tony Green on the inside, Andrew Rich on the inside. This would be knocking Kevin Peeler out of the top nine. Is that crazy side-by-side -side all over? You see Kobe Alves, Alan Cavanero still racing. And they'll probably get caught by the leaders, so that could result in some issues for the leaders as Karen Vieira will pass Ryan Shea for second place. And Karen Vieira has the fastest car on the racetrack. Tony Green second, Andrew Rich third for lap times. So Karen Vieira looks like they have the car to beat today. Whoa, Carol Morton, Logan York are in the wall. Right now, Sean Hopple outside, Carol Morton in ninth. Andrew Rich moves up the seventh, Tony Green up the sixth. And Karen Vieira going for the race lead here on Michael Rogers. Coming to lap number nine, she takes the race lead. That's their single file all around. You can see Colby Alves is more up to speed than the 18 is. Which, the leaders are going to catch him in about a lap or so. Speaking of getting wet, I got my sweatshirt got so soaked I threw it in the dryer for 20 minutes. So we're halfway through heat number one. As we go, scroll through the top nine drivers, see Carol Morton a little behind the eighth place car of Kevin Peeler. Could make things a little interesting. They're about to catch Alan Cavanero, and that could be interesting. Ten laps to go at the line. 
This is going to be an 80 lap race in the Michelob Ultra 400 this weekend. Karen Vieira peeks to the inside, doesn't do it this turn. Now she will move to the inside of the 18. Look in the pass, the 18 for the put him a lap down. Other drivers continuing the pass. The 18 car. 18 is going to block. Nicholas Samudio entering turn number three. Kevin Peeler to the inside of Andrew Rich. That's for seventh place. And now Andrew's trying to get by Alan Cavanero. Andrew Rich down to eighth place now. Nathan Rogers going to lose some spots to Tony Green and Kevin Peeler here. He'll fall to 7th. Karen Vieira continuing the lead, pulling away from Michael Rogers. It's clear that the pole sitter does not have the best car, and it looks like skill will become a factor like it usually does here at Dover. Whoa, Alan Cavanero and Logan York having some issues. And Logan York has not been happy these past couple of weeks. He's been happy. He was happy one week that he made a race, but then every other week for the past five weeks, he has been extremely furious at his team's performance. And I'm sure he will not be happy about this one either. Don't think they're going to catch the 88. Five laps to go. Tony Green and Kevin Peeler showing some late race speed. Trying to prove themselves for the main, maybe. Just uh, doing some practice, you know. And Tony Green's going to take away fourth place from Samudio. Kevin Peeler will move up to fifth. You see Andrew Rich back up to seventh. Got his way around Andrew Rich. I mean, Nathan Rogers. Carando's moved up to ninth. He's past Carol Morton. And I think it's thundering where I am. I can't really, I'm not really sure. Right now, Carando's securely in ninth place. Andrew Rich peeking under the 51. Might go try to take sixth place. Two laps to go. Continuing to look to the inside. White flag is out. Ryan Shea is going to look for second place on Michael Rogers. As Karen Vieira has just driven away from the rest of the field. So Andrew Rich does take sixth place from Nicholas Samudio. Looks like the rest of the order is going to stay the same as Caranda will finish ninth and Karen Vieira wins heat number one. So Karen Vieira, Ryan Shea, Michael Rogers, Tony Green, Kevin Peeler, Andrew Rich, Nicholas Samudio, Nathan Rogers, and Chris Caranda will be in the Michelob Ultra 400 along with our 24 chase drivers. Well, 18 now, but the 24 that are locked in from the start of the chase. And we will see you for heat number two. Getting ready for heat number two, guys. On the front row, we got Scott Carini, Adam Rogers. Row 2, Caleb Hoffman, Dylan Young. Row 3, Kerry Davis, Edwin Mendez. Those are teammates right there. Cameron Gadu, Michael Beeson in row 4. With Jim Morton in the 3rd and James Morton in row number 5. Drivers on the inside line that could move up. Ace Rogers, Greg Lyons, Peggy Bowling, and Ben Goldberg. Saw so one little crash that involved Alan Cavanero and... Colby Alves in heat number one. Could there be a little incident here in heat number two? I would think so, but usually we have in some... It seems to always be the case that we have one heat, it's crazy, and then the other heat, it's like dull. But we'll see which one was the dull one after this heat.
did see some drivers scrape the wall, and it always it's always going to be coming out of turn number four. Scott Green and Caleb Hoffman have cleared through the inside line. Adam Rogers losing spots fast. James Morton getting in the wall a little bit in the back there. But James Morton just losing every spot he had. I mean, Adam, uh, Adam Rogers, as the inside line is flying up through this field. Got some more three-wide action happening. Oh, Peggy bowling ace Rogers. They're still connected, and there they go. Ben Goldberg's going to get involved. Chloe Baker's involved. Benjamin Dion. Greg Lyons had to slam on the brakes. Ace Rogers smoking his night. His day is done. Caleb Hoffman to the race lead. This all happening on lap number three. And that leaves us with our top nine is right here. Ben Goldberg going to continue. Same for Peggy Bowling. Don't we're about we're about to see after this lap how fast they are. Greg Lyons, Dion are up to speed, but they had to hit the brake. Same goes for Chloe Baker. James Morton, Brandon Mellon, Robert Rogers all slowing down. Robert Rogers just threw down the fastest lap of the race. Brandon Mellon and all these guys included. They're catching up really fast here. Peggy Bowling seems a little slow, and so does Ben Goldberg. Goldberg. Caleb Hoffman in the lead. Scott Carini second. Kerry Davis third. Edmund Mendes fourth. Dylan Young fifth. Jim Morton the third is sixth. Michael Beeson seventh. Adam Rogers eighth. And Cameron Gadu is ninth. And that kind of saved Adam Rogers there because he was on the verge of falling out of the top nine. As you see, Beeson has the fastest lap time now. So we're going to watch back here because there's not much going on after that huge crash. Gadu trying to get by Adam. He knows Robert is coming up fast. Robert Rogers, Brandon Mellon gaining ground. James Morton gaining some ground, but Chloe Baker seems to have fallen off now. Looks like Benjamin Dion might have gotten a piece of that crash. He is a little slower than the 21. And it looks like they will catch the 55. Greeny not giving up. Trying to get back by Caleb Hoffman. As you see, Robert Rogers has caught up to Cameron Gadu. This track is certainly more about skill than it is about car speed. These guys all running like the same lap times right here. But it must be a good feeling for McClure Vance Racing to see their two drivers up here running third and fourth, both in good positions to make the race. Edwin Mendez, Kerry Davis not having the best of seasons. Kerry Davis had a shot at a win a few weeks ago at Talladega. But this team has not had the best of success. But with rookie drivers, I mean, you can't ask for much. Edwin Mendez had that great finish with Greg Lyons in the beginning of the season at the Coors Light Shootout. Greeny and Hoffman looking to pick up side. Greeny, I thought he was going to turn the 61. Hoffman going to go by Ben Goldberg here. Oh, Dylan Young in the wall. Jim Morton the third and Adam Rogers made contact. Adams on the apron, and he's going to fall outside of the top nine. And he is way back there now. He's down to 11th. And it's all because of Ben Goldberg's car here. They're trying to get around him coming out of turn four. It didn't really work out that great. 
Kerry Davis up to third. Beeson the fourth. Edwin Mendes went down to fifth. Gadu moved up to sixth. Robert Rogers into the top nine. Jim Morton the third down the ninth. Brandon Mellon now has a shot to make the race. Five laps to go this time by. Michael Beeson going to go by Kerry Davis for third as Greeny and Hoffman battle side by side, and they're going to catch Peggy Bowling. Four laps to go. Greeny back to the lead. And they're going to catch the 45, probably coming off of turn number four. They're going to do the same thing they did with Ben Goldberg. They're going to move up a group. Michael Beeson moving up to second. Now here he's going to go by Caleb Hoffman. Two laps to go here at Dover. And this heat is definitely the crazier one. <laughs> Beeson up to second. Kerry Davis. Whoa! He got loose on the corner of Caleb Hoffman's bumper. Two laps to go this time by as they head by Peggy Bowling. Beeson worked his way up through the field here in this heat race looking for the victory. Brandon Mellon passing. Jim Morton in the third for ninth. Other drivers going by Peggy Bowling. Beeson dived it into turn three trying to get a run. White flag in the air here in heat number two. And it looks like Greeny will make the, get the victory. I think Beeson made his move a bit too soon. Yeah, Greeny's got the win. And Brandon Mellon will get ninth. So after an eventful heat two, Scott Greeny wins. Other drivers advancing. Michael Beeson, Caleb Hoffman, Edwin Mendez, Cameron Gadu, Robert Rogers, Kerry Davis, Dylan Young, and Brandon Mellon. And that's a lot of dodges right there. You got the 4, the 12, the 74, the 2, the 19. Dang. So, guys, we'll see you for the Michelob Ultra 400. It's sure to be a good event. And uh, we'll see you then.